Can you see me? Yeah. Good morning, YouTube. It's been a while. I know. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm the worst when it comes to YouTube videos. But I am back and I am making a promise to myself and a promise to the YouTube right here right now that I will be back with my regular frequent uploading. But today's video is going to be a full day of eating on a reverse diet because I'm starting my reverse diet. Well, I started it yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd take you through a full day of eating, kind of explain what I'm eating, why I'm eating it, what reverse dieting is, why I'm reverse dieting, and take you through my day, really, so, and why I'm reverse dieting and everything, and yeah. So, I'm starting my day with, I guess it's not really food, but it's the first thing I'm having, which is a black coffee, it's the Nespresso pumpkin cake one, which is just solid 9 out of 10. Um, I've done my 35 minutes fasted cardio already because cardio is staying in. I've got three lots of 35 minutes on the bike to do across my week, which the stair mass has been taken out, um, which is kind of sad because I, I like it in a weird sort of way. Um, but just to reduce the intensity where it's not needed. And to be fair, it's a lot more convenient because I have a bike in the gym basement where I live. So I can literally just walk down the stairs rather than drive to the gym. It's now just gone 10 past six. So I'm going to write up my to-do list for the day, drink my coffee, I do my morning journaling and then I'm just going to basically crack on with my check-ins because it's a check-in day today. It is probably going to be a rest day. I just need to double confirm that I'm not meeting someone later because if I am, I can't do it out of time to train. But if I'm not, then I might train. But it's probably going to be a rest day so I will take you through my food. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, I hope. And I'll see you at meal numero one. So meal one, I've got one whole egg, three bacon medallions, and then some, I mean, it looks pretty crap. I've got some courgette and mushrooms. I normally just have, just have mushrooms with this one, but I ran out. So I've got like two mushrooms <laughs> and then the rest courgette and some spinach as well just to bulk it out because I am still pretty hungry. This meal hasn't actually changed for like weeks um, ever since I wrote up my own meal plan. Um, I've kept this the same. And the reason that I've actually kept this the same and not added any carbs to this meal is because... I don't feel like I need them at this time. Even though I'm hungry, I would rather eat my carbs later on. I find that if I eat carbs too early, I just feel really lethargic. And so, yeah, this served me well. Mm -mm -mm. Um, as my carb degrees do get higher into the off season, I probably will add some like toast or a bagel thing to this meal. But for now, I'm gonna sit down, enjoy my meal one, and I'll catch you at meal two. And the time for reference is half past seven. Oh, it's cold. It's very cold. It's very autumnal and cold, but I like it. And I'm vibing this coat because you can literally just like... I love it. I love it. It's so good. Um, but I'm just back now. Just taking a seat. I don't know why I'm taking a seat because I'm going to stand back up in a second. Um, from my morning walk, and I'm also in a bit of a food shock because I've just had my meal plan approved um, by the boss. So I've just gone and got all the foods that I needed. Most of it is the same, to be fair, but there's a few additionals which i'm going to show you and talk through so i'll show you what's new to my meal plan and what i kind of had in my diet anyway so let's start with the big bag um we've got spinach staple really um salad i mean i normally have lettuce but this is just um a baby leaf salad which actually looks really slimy so i think i've done really bad with this and um, but because one of my meals now is like a a, a burger and um, chips, aka potato. I kind of want salad with that rather than veg, you know what I mean? Um, avocado, fat sauce that I've been loving, so I'm keeping that in my diet. Um, I've got some asparagus, it's normally really expensive, it was cheap, so I'm going to have that today as one of my veg sauces. Um, green beans, standard, you don't want to see that. Cordia, I'm boring, you don't want to see that. Blueberries, standard, you know, I love the blueberries in the tree, they're gold, boring, you don't want to see that. I did actually get today. Um, the turkey rashers instead of the bacon medallion simply because they were on offer so i thought i'd spice my life up a bit and get turkey bacon rather than normal i got some of those little pineapple sticks that you have as kids because i always find that when i buy like a fresh pineapple it just goes off so they're the perfect serving as well so i have 80 grams of post workout in my new meal plan so that's great chicken and beef mince again boring you don't care standard what i normally have is my protein sauces um, so this is new, um, I just mentioned it, I've got some reduced fat beef burgers because this is on my training date, so in my meal four I'm going to have a burger with some potato like chips which is going to be amazing so I'm really looking forward to that. Mushrooms you don't care about. So these are like the last little bits, so bagel thins, this is going to be on one of my meals today so I've got this with my mince which I'm really excited about because I've not had bagel thins in 
ages so i'm very excited about that and then these aren't technically in my meal plan but they're going to go out of stock soon because it's the halloween special and halloween is in a few days time and these are my absolute favorites the chocolate orange saurian loaf so what i'm going to do is just on my rest days i can basically switch out the cereal in my pre-bed bowl for a build and bake brownie um these are kind of similar macros well they're not but i can make it work so and i'm gonna freeze them as well because i've got the toffee apple ones so i really like these as well um by christmas i should be able to fit the christmas ones into my macros and my meal plan a lot easier but i don't want to miss out on these so i'm gonna freeze them put them somewhere in if i can pack them in be a bit more flexible but yeah this is gonna make such a cute thumbnail isn't it me and my bae yeah i'm gonna crack on with a little bit more client work now um done check-ins so just programming catch up clients and then I'll catch you at meal number two. It's just gone 11 and I am freaking starving. So I'm going to go in for, in for, in for meal two, bro. I have actually had a rain whilst doing some morning work and plenty of water just to fill you in on that. Um, but my next meal, my next meal actually should be um, chicken and potatoes. But I'm going to take my air fryer back today because it's broken again. Just don't even ask. So I want my potatoes done in the air fryer because honestly when they're just done in the microwave, it's, it's just shit like let's be real so i'm gonna move that to meal four so hopefully i'll have an air fryer by then so i'm gonna move meal four to meal yeah because i want meal three i'm gonna have to have on the go and i don't mind having that cold but i don't want this cold because it is oats and whey and blueberries and dark chocolate and i'm very excited so i'm gonna make that now Got enough of every melody, they all sound the same. Yeah. For my broken heart, no remedy, but maybe if you stay, we can get away with it. Cause you make me love my imperfections, answer all my questions just to show me what's on the other side of inhibition. So I'm just at the retail park now, so I went, oh, I really don't understand what they've done, so I went to go exchange my air fryer, so they got a box of an air fryer, but said they can't just exchange it, they've got to put it onto a gift card, and then I said, well, can I just buy the one that you've got here now no you have to go to the back of the queue and the queue is like miles long so you know what you know what i got my car in mode i was like you know what forget it so i've not actually now got my air fryer and i don't really know what to do because i've just got this as the gift card so i don't know whether to just go buy one somewhere else i don't really have time i might amazon it <laughs> amazon is bay um you know you just can't even think you just get i'm that stressed and agitated and i was like you know what forget it Forget it, I want to have my air fried potatoes this afternoon, you know, it's not a problem But I'm actually gonna have my next meal now because I'm getting hungry as you can tell And I've got a bit of time for my nails So I might be able to go sort this air fryer out to be fair before because there's a few shops on the retail park before I get my nails done So I might have my crispy potato, but I'm gonna get into my next meal now, which is um, some Pork mince with avocado and a lettuce lettuce um and um a bagel thin with some avocado and that is it that is my next meal um rock and roll lifestyle living the dream so i'm gonna eat this now because i'm getting hungry and we'll see if i have crispy potatoes for my next meal probably not. finally home christ i look state but look at this nails actually a female for the first time ever i mean looking at the state of me i'm really not but in for meal four it's now half past five i've got half an hour before i need to jump on my webinar i've got so much still to do this meal would normally be chicken, potato, and olive oil or coconut oil, but because I don't have my air fryer, I don't want just boring basic microwave potatoes because it just tastes like shit if you're not putting like butter on it or whatever. So I'm gonna have the chicken um, salad and some asparagus because I got some on offer today. And then I'm just gonna basically, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make up the carbs with cream of rice, <laughs> shock horror, and the fats with dark chocolate, shock horror. Um, just because I enjoy that and you know, part of, 
the foods you eat as well is you know enjoying the foods you eat and what have you you know for digestion and just not you know hating life because what is the point in hating the food you eat so i'm gonna do that i think and yeah so i'll show you those when they're done i've just got my asparagus in the microwave now the microwave and then we'll crack on so that is meal four part one asparagus chicken salad leaves looks pretty boring but i like asparagus so i'm actually quite excited because i've not had it in a while and i will enjoy this and then i will formulate part two and work out what macros i can make up for the rest of it cream of rice cream of rice cream of rice <laughs> cream of rice rice okay cream of rice wise i'm going to use this sample it's the last sample so cherry bake well i'm not a massive cherry fan so we'll see how it goes i do like the sort of almondy taste so we'll see how this goes um yeah because this is 50 grams which is it kind of goes over the macros it doesn't add up bang on but i'll just take a little bit of carbs out of my last pre-bed bowl it's not a big deal so yeah i'm gonna have 50 grams of this with one square of dark chocolate Thought I'd do a little bit of a live taste test for the old tube because I've not actually ever tried this and like I said, I'm not a massive cherry bake well person. So, let's go. Do you know what? Have I got sauce around my... Oh, it's attractive, isn't it? Beautiful. That's actually not bad though, to be fair. Um, it's actually quite nice, but I probably wouldn't buy it. But yeah, it's edible. So I'm going to enjoy this. I need to eat this quick because I've got emails and stuff to send before I jump on this webinar and then I will join you for the best meal, the pre-bed bowl at about half eight. It's about two and a half hours time. Last and best meal of the day is obviously the pre-bed bowl. It's got Greek yogurt, perform whey, salted caramel, rice krispies, peanut butter, blueberries. This will never change ever. Maybe just quantities, but I will never go to bed without a pre-bed bowl. But I'm gonna have this and then literally head to bed because I'm absolutely exhausted tonight. Um, just don't know what's wrong with me, just feel absolutely shattered. Um, so it's about 20 past eight, eat this, sleep, and yeah, all of the sleep. All so I guess I kind of wanted to do a bit of an outro to this because I'm kind of just leaving it on the pre-bed bowl as a bit, bit of a rubbish way to end the video, right? Shocking. So it is actually the next morning now. So I kind of just wanted to discuss a little bit about what a reverse diet is and why I'm doing it. So for a bit of context, if you've not seen my previous videos, basically earlier this year, um, I've had some hormonal issues. I tried to regain my period naturally through going all in. I gained quite a lot of weight. Um, got to a point in sort of June where I was just like, you know what, I'm seriously uncomfortable here. I don't want to... I can't look like this anymore. You know, for reference, I was probably about, I don't know how heavy I got because I stopped weighing myself, but in my photo shoot, I was 118 pounds. Peak off season before I started um, going all in, I was about 133, 34 pounds, and I probably got up into the top 150s. So you can see that I got pretty hefty. None of my clothes were fitting, so I was really uncomfortable. So we did a bit of a dieting phase and we started really, really slow and steady just to continue to optimize hormones um, as best as we could. So nothing drastic. And then it just obviously we intensified a little bit as we knew we um, it was safe for us to do so. Obviously I've had the whole issue with my hormones coming back bad, but that's just a topic for another day. But we are on the up now with my hormones. So we, are, we were able to push things a little bit more. Um, so I was dieting from June and in total, I probably lost about, 20 pounds um, in that time so it's you know it's pretty significant and um, so i got down to about i think my lowest weigh in before we decided to reverse was 137.1 which is still about four or five pounds up from where i was earlier this year but to be fair i don't think my body composition is much much worse which is actually quite exciting so maybe i have actually built something in that time which is good so the goal now is just to build my calories back up. Um, I can eat quite a lot of food and maintain a decent body comp. Before I started my prep last year, my calories got up to like 2,400, 2,500, 400 grams of carbs a day. So I can pack away a lot of food. So what I'm on now, even though it is an increase, it is still way below what my body can actually tolerate. So the goal now is just to slowly build up food. Um, again, continue to, you know, really really drive strength and just the goal now is just to build hella muscle tissue now myself my goals are to get on stage not next year but the year after um as a tone figure competitor and to do that i need to build muscle because i need to be have a lot more size to me in order to be competitive because i don't just want to do it anymore for myself and um, which was kind of the, the last year's kind of you know i want to just compete because i'm very passionate about bodybuilding and i want to do this for me now it's a case of i want to do it but i want to be good i want to get on stage and people think yeah 
She's got first. You know, I want to have a really good standing chance. To do that, I've got a lot of size to build. So in order to do that, we need to be in an optimal position to build. So we need more calories. So the goal now is to just slowly build up food. Like I said, my food is now higher, which is good, but it's still not particularly that high. Um, the goal is to then probably bring down cardio a little bit and we are actually moving and progressing my training in a couple of weeks into a five day split and um, I'll be having chats with Vic about the focus points because it's probably going to be push pull legs up or lower but I want to really really drive and focus on my, my weaker areas and the areas that matter as a tone figure competitor. So basically, in effect, the goal of a reverse diet is to transition you from a dieting phase into a bulking and off-season phase without gaining loads and loads and loads of body fat. Because if you just went from dieting calories straight up to, um, you know, off-season calories, that could, you know, if you are very, very lean, it's very, very different because you may need to make that jump for health reasons. But if you are, you know, you're not like complain like i'm definitely not complain if i just went and said right let's go from this calorie to this calories i'm just going to gain ex excess body fat really really fast and it's just not the right way to do it my mentality and it's not needed as well you know you don't actually need to gain loads and loads and loads of weight in order to be in a surplus and make those physique progressions because it isn't going to be muscle you know as a female we aren't going to be gaining pounds and pounds of muscle um every single week we might gain a couple of pounds a year if we're lucky so yeah it's gonna be a slow and steady increase um but i'm here for it i'm excited for it i'm excited to have that element of flexibility as well um you know going to eat, eating out like i've got a few things planned over the next month where i can go out and actually eat out with my friends and my family and just have a bit more flexibility in my diet and obviously have more food which would be good and make all the gains so I think I am going to oh, keep saying this, but I genuinely think I am going to document more because one, I am now going full time as an online coach, which I'm going to do a video about um, in the coming weeks when I do actually officially leave the gym and talk about that. And I have more time to vlog and I want to document my off season, my gaining phase because people don't document that. You see a lot of prep and dieting, getting leaner documentations because people feel confident to document when they're getting leaner. But I think many girls don't actually document the process of, you know, bulking and the body composition changes because we were scared to do it because of you know it's like we don't look as good but i want to do that so i'm going to bring you along my journey to the road to 2023 20, and um, figure stage but i do want to take you along with me and um, the highs the lows the gains the, the the bulking the cutting and hopefully obviously the prep in in a year or so time which is exciting but i'm going to leave this video here so thank you for watching if you there's anything you want to see particularly in this journey training q a's uh, fill days of eating please let me know because i don't know what the hell to actually pick up on the camera and, and do but thanks for watching and i'll see you i will see you i've said it here i'm going to do it now on the next episode